guys, welcome to the channel. As you can see, we're down at Martin again on this cold, frosty Monday morning. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of films today, a couple of videos hopefully. Uh, first one we're going to do is going to do is a what's in the bag for 2020. Obviously, as most of you know from some of the other videos that have uh, updated my clubs. So, I'm going to do a couple of holes here and I'm going to show you what we've got in the bag ready for the, uh, the new season or in my case the new season which starts in January when we go off to Portugal which uh, should be fun, three days in the sun a lot better than this cold so we've got on the course and we'll go through the bag and we'll show you what we've got before I forget, welcome to the channel if this is your first time watching Hi right, guys, Ooh, that's not on straight yeah, so first major update going into the new season is going to be the uh, the trolley. We've gone for the electric trolley because uh, I have found that uh, not being the fittest person in the world, you do find that a push trolley does take it out of you over 18 holes. So we managed to pick up a nice power caddy. It's a few years old trolley. Um, which has made a bit of a difference because you feel you do feel fresh when you're uh, when you're playing a round of 18. As long as you remember to charge the battery, that is. So yeah, so I would, uh, if you're looking at it, see if you can have a look round. Um, give Paul at Hartford Golf Club a ring. May have some second-hand ones in there. Good price. I think you're looking about 100 quid. Um, obviously, you can tell they'll be looked after. Uh, so we're giving him a ring, I'll put the link down below. So yeah, so the first major thing is a uh, trolley. So it's going to chip onto the green now. Okay, okay, so the other thing that's not changed in the bag is the ping putter. But we have got a new grip on it. So that's stayed the same. Because I like it. <laughs> Yeah, so the other thing that's not changed is the, put, is the putter. Uh, reason being is, I don't see the point of changing something that you really like. And I do like this one. Even though it's a few years old. But never mind. Right, on to the second hole. So, as you might have guessed from one of my other videos, uh, I've changed my hands completely. The whole bag, except for the putter. We've gone for the Ben Ross HTX from a 5 iron all the way up to a sand wedge um, on a recommendation really from a, uh, a pro um, and yeah I mean I had tied this before and they were about 15-20 years old uh, but this has made a difference to my game I think so uh, Yeah, definitely. I recommend the Ben Rosses, which we've changed to. Which is the HDX, if you can see that. There you go. So we're just going to play hole number two here at Smarton. Very nice of them to let me uh, use facilities again. It's a nice three hole course. I'm going to pop down for your short game over the winter months. It's ideal. Uh, this is hole two, which is a par 93. Sorry, par 93. We're talking about it's a 93 yards. And I'll show you where they're going. So yeah, so we're going down the hill, 93 yards, which I think is about 110 to the pin. I've not got the, uh, the spyglass out, so I don't really know. So we'll play this hole, and I'll catch up on number three. Hi right, guys, let's bend down because I didn't bring the big tripod. On the driver, again we've set with Ben Ross and we've gone for the HTX um, compressor, 12 degree. Don't know why I've gone for 12 but why not. 
they're there just a club. Don't know what difference it makes, all these different heights and stuff, but as long as the white ball goes down the fairway, who cares? Right, the fact that we only had the irons from 5 to Sand Wedge, obviously we had, I don't know, 3, 4, or, yeah, 3 or 4. So we got for the hybrid, this is a few years old this one, this is 17 degree, and it's a Ben Ross V6 Escape. Trimus, whatever that means, no idea, if you can see that. Uh, green shaft, nice and green, um, Aldia, 85, regular, designed for Ben Ross, hybrid TM3, whatever that means. Oh, and I got a lovely, lovely little head cover as well, which is nice. Oh, I forgot as well. On the driver, we've got a Kuro Cage, pronounced that correctly, 50 gram Regular Flex Mitsubishi Rayon, which has got some go faster stripes on the side if you don't really can see them. So, obviously, makes the ball go faster, faster in, down the line, I don't know. Um, yeah, so we've got that, and also we've gone on the Stayed with the same with the balls, we stayed with the Titleist balls because that's what it seems to like, it's the Titleist balls. And as you've seen in one of the other videos as well, we've, we're sticking with the Castle Tees, the plastic ones. Can't use wooden. But I believe, comment below what you think, um, there's some club in Chesh Cheshire, I think. In Cheshire? Somewhere, somewhere in England anyway, that's um, banning plastic tees. So you won't be able to use plastic tees at this golf club. Wood only. So what's your thoughts on that? Um, do you think people be restricted? Or do you think it's a good idea? Obviously wooden tees biodegradable over some time. So that's what's in the bag. So we've got the same bag as well. We've still got the uh, stand bag from um, Mizuna. God, I can't bend down with legs hurt. So we've still got the Mizuna stand bag. Uh, that's not changed. That won't be changing. But the rest of the bag has changed. Why not? Ready for the 2020 season. Oh, gloves. At the moment we're using Strixon because it was cheap and it was buy one, no, buy two, get one free. Um, yeah, and obviously Ben Ross waterproofs. Hey guys, that's it on this one and uh, I'll catch you shortly for the next one. Cheers guys.